Hi, I'm Myrthe. Um, I already have sort of a bob, but I want a shorter one, and I want big pink on the uh, under on the lines. Under lines, yes. And then I want some fades with my own hair color because it's already blonde. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. Will you turn so you can see how your hair is now? Yes. First time modeling. A lot of waves in all my hair. Yes. Okay, let's start on you. Hello, friends. <laughs> I got myself a new model. Now, I'm gonna start on a nice bob. Straight, but a bit playful. And of course, I start with protection like I always do. Then I'm gonna wet the hair and see how her hair is because it's the first time uh, I even touch her. So I have to know what's going on. But because I made photos in front, I saw already the lights of a skull. And that's the most important thing when you make a hairstyle to see the lines of the natural lines of the skull. Because there's something I cannot change, and that's the skull. It's always the way it is. Start by wetting the hair. And I think I'm going to correct color a little bit, but then I do it with uh, a con conditional toner spray. So I take a little bit of the golden tone out of it because then the other tones are more in line with her hair. And she has a lot of hair. Well, I think I'm gonna fuck hard in here. Gonna use a silver spray of Attitude. It's a styling product, but it also is a toner corrector that I put on my hair just to let it work in. It doesn't influence cutting and it doesn't influence coloring. Nice to look. Yeah, it smells really nice. But you can already see it also on the color. Mm -hmm. And you can see it on my hands. <laughs> this I brushed through the hands. Now I'm a lot, a lot of the golden tones are already gone, but they certainly come back. And for those who have a violet tone in the hairs and don't want the violets in the hairs, just set yourself a strong T and put it over the violet tone. Violet is, uh, the gold is the opposite color of violet, so it takes out the color at once. Because T is yellow and it's stronger than violet. Do this cup with uh, a hot system because now I can see that the hairs are really dry in the end. So I do this with the TC1 Kerkado Jaguar. Part hairs over the center line, go onto the ears, not on the skull bone because she wants a straight bob. Pin up hair aside. Turn a bit so you can see with me. Knowing that I want to get on the chin line, so I put my comb there. And I can see where I have to go. So I go in in the center, then go stand aside and go to that line. Go over to the other side, do the same. And here she has wonderful hair, condition is good. This is my first line. Now I'm going to wet this again and then I'm going to cut with the hot scissor. Wet hair is laid on the skin. Set the hair straight on the skin. Watch the underlines, put on my clipper. And straight to line. And get rid of the woolly hairs because they are not in line with the hairstyle. Then you can get on, so you stick it on the That's a good one. You have a clear for that. Good, I have a good one. Yeah, I can. Okay. 
gelukkig wel. Oké. Heated my sister to 140 degrees Celsius. Hold my fingers straight. Put them on the skull bone. And make my first hot scissor cut on the line. I can cut with the hot scissor. So this is my baseline. Nou, daar ruik je gelukkig niks van. Nee. Het zou wel zijn als je het zou ruiken. Het ja. ziet wel spannend. Wat een Dat is stoer. Maar dat ruik je wel. Ja, zeker. Take a new line on it. Still, it's a bit sticky, the other lines. Hair needs to be wet when you do a cut with the hot tools. So wet it in between. Go to the center line again. Pull the hair straight down. Take about a half centimeter more than the other line. Now note that for certain the hair don't comes from under the hairs. So it stays always the upper hair in line with the line of the pop. Connect the front to the back. Go back over the same line. Put my fingers in the line of the chin line. And go back to the starting point. This will do of course on both sides. And then I'll work from ear to ear till I get to the sides. You know that mooi blond van jezelf ook. Dat is wel apart. Heel veel mensen blijven niet blond hè. Nee, ik wil. Vroeger was ik echt helemaal wit. Maar mijn haar was van nu mooi. Take the hairs down on the line of cutting. Hold my fingers straight, watch to the front. Stay working in the same line. And work to the cat on the front line. Also on this side I travel back to the back and the starting point. Can already shape the hair a bit because it's a little bit wavy. And what I do then is I go into the wave and pull the hairs in the same line. So I know that I catch them in the line of cutting. So I am more in control with the hairs. It builds a little feel on that. Nee, dat was ik niet. Kun je terugkijken straks. Dat is fijn, je kunt altijd weer zien dat je er was. Nou, die is toch goed uit. Take a new line on it. And now I work from the top of the ears to the center of the skull. Pin the hairs up. And this I do till I get on the front. Okay, coming from ear to ear, what I told you, just on the ear. Lay the hairs over the rounding of the skull. See that she has a wonderful rounding because all the shapes are the same. Again, go to the center line in freehand style. Connect it on the line. This I do because when I do this in a freehand style, the hair is not being pulled down. So I'm certain that it's on the right length. So now I can go to the front. Pipe myself a straight line again on the fall of the skull. Pin the hairs aside. Word them.
Be aware of the earrings. <laughs> I just got them pierced. <laughs> Holy Moses. I'm going to have a on the ground. Yeah? Yeah, on the ground. Top. Connect the front to the back. Pull the hair straight down, hold my fingers in the line of the chin line. And go back over the same line and then into the fall of the natural lines. So I take the waves of the holy bone into the hairstyle. Softly down, bend them and connect them. This way I get a much nicer fall to the hairs. Then I go in the natural roundings, take the hairs straight down. Don't force anything, don't pull anything. Just set myself the first card time. Again, don't force anything and pulling. There's no need to pull hard on the hairs. Just do things gentle. Come to the last part. Again, lay the hairs in a natural fall. Watch through the hairs where the line of cutting is. You can see the line laying under this. Go into the line. And connect it to the front. Take the hairs up again. On the natural lines, in the natural curve. And just correct the line a bit. So go in, set my fingers, put the hairs down with my comb in the natural lines. Got myself almost the earring. <laughs> That gold for the earring. <laughs> A golden earring. <laughs> that was a band. I know. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You like the music? The mm -hmm. golden earring? Mm -hmm. Dutch band. Yeah, I know. I saw them oh. live at the principal. Ah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Turn them, so go to the other side. Take the hairs up in a natural line. Don't force anything anymore. See this wonderful small curly effect. <laughs> My baby girl. <laughs> baby girl. <laughs> Baby girl, oh baby girl, <laughs> how I love you, oh my baby girl. I kept the ook gehad vroeger. Yeah. And ik wilde kapper worden, maar ik mocht niet kapper worden. En ik ging naar de kapper toe en dan uiteindelijk na twee of drie keer al in de gaten dat ik nooit een afspraak had, want was alleen op afspraak. Mm -hmm. En uh, uiteindelijk liet ik dan die baby girl met permanent vloeistof eraf halen. <laughs> Dan kom ik weer heel lang zitten om te kijken hoe ik het heb. Toen ben ik kapper geworden in eerste instantie. Oké. Okay. Gewoon door kijken. Ja. En dat is eigenlijk wat je nu ook doet natuurlijk. Om ja, zeker. Om andere mensen de mogelijkheid bieden om ook ja. veel te kijken. Leuk. Ja. Watching it a bit. Right in the natural lines. Don't force anything. Go in. Connect it. Then take the hairs up. And like I did, bending them in the line. So it gives an ultra fine graduation to the hairs. Yeah, after four, can be a bit here. Yeah, <laughs> close. Het voelt verschrikkelijk, maar... Nee, dat doet helemaal niks. Maakt het uit. Lay all the hairs over the rounding. 
And then when you take the hairs from the center, you see there's always a bit hair that's just sticking out. It's not much. Lay the hair straight down. Drag this. And to make sure all the lines are the same, I wet the hair again and then take the top off. Take the hairs on the center, straight up. Watch at the length, connect the lengths. This I do because her hair hangs a little bit, a little bit more to the left. So I get a little bit out of center. But I want to get it into a straight line and the softness into the hairstyle. And to make sure I've cut all the hairs. Ik kan dadelijk al meteen het verschil voelen, ook thermisch knippen en gewoon. Ik ben echt heel nieuws inderdaad. Het voelt echt zo'n verschil. Ja. Het voelt dus wel gewoon een stuk zachter. Ja, het blijft. Ja, dat het is veel sexier fijn. haar. Ja. Nice. Doe je dat ook bij gewone kappers of, of niet? <laughs> nou, bij ons wel. We zijn gewoon kapper. <laughs> nee, er zijn maar heel weinig kappers die dat doen. Dat mm, dacht ik wel, ja. Weet je, we hebben meisjes met lang haar, die blijven een half jaar weg. Mm -hmm. We knippen ze nu en we adviseren ze om terug te komen eind september, begin oktober. Mm -hmm. en de, waarom? Dan gaan ze met goed haar de zomer in. En als ze terugkomen, dan gaat dat droge stukje eraf. Ja. En dan gaan ze met goed haar de winter in. En we weten zeker dat ze dan ten eerste van, van lang haar houden. Ten tweede, dat ze liever niet naar de kapper gaan. Maar als ze komen, komen ze bij ons altijd met een dikke smile op het gezicht, komen ze binnen. Want ze weten gewoon dat ze goed haar hebben. Ja, dat is heel fijn. Ja. En waarom zou ik jou iedere zes weken willen zien als ik klanten zat heb? Ook zo, ja. ja als je het echt niet nodig hebt inderdaad. Nee. En, uh, en je weet het, het is gewoon het, het meest voor eerlijke product. Hebt. Ja, precies. Ja. En daar gaat het om. Je moet eerlijk zijn tegen je klanten. Mm -hmm. Anders ja. klop je voet niet. Ja. Ja, ik heb het ook wel eens gehad bij kappers, dat het dan dat ik uh, niet goed bij mijn hoofd Nou, dat denk ik niet dat dat heel mooi staat. <laughs> ik denk wel dat het leuk is om iets met een, een, een beetje een bokje te mm -hmm. doen. Ja. Een klein beetje. En dan moeten we alleen even dit gekke dingetje hier in de gaten houden, want dit mm -hmm. krult een beetje veel. <laughs> <laughs> dit stukje. Dat is een beetje een vreemd ding, hier. Ja. Dus ja. Ik zou... <laughs> well, we're talking about... Ja. Uh, the... yeah. A fringe or not? Nou, I think because there's a curve into her hairstyle and she has a little bit wavy hair on, on this line, I think a, a fringe would suit her, but I think she gets also a very small uh, face when mm. she has a fringe, because then yeah. you would see it like this. But you could see her beautiful eyes, but her hair by the natural fall goes to the sides because there's a wavy effect and it goes to the back. So when I would make a fringe, I cannot make it too short, otherwise it jumps up like hell. So I have to be aware of that. But I see her natural shapes, and then I think, what I can do is take a little bit of the under hair from the top of the holy bone to the ear, take only this part, and wave it a little bit, so not too much, just watch at the lines, the natural lines, go in, and give it just a little bit of effect, not too much. Just that I have a little bit softness into her face. And because the majority of her hair is going to the back, it will certainly go with it. So when she takes it like there, this will be covered up. And then I have a more openness and even a softer line on the front line of the face. And that's more than enough. Especially with this hairstyle. Then I take the hairs from the other side and then I take only the front to the holy bone. That's more than enough. Take it over the fall of the natural fall. Take it to this side. Watch where I started the line. Go in there. 
and just so gently go down and go into the line. Not more than that. Take the hairs up, bend them a bit, soften the line, point cut. She's never been cut with a hot scissor or a hot tool, so I, I wonder if she can feel the difference because it feels so much softer. Oh, that's really good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, lekker is the Dutch word for feeling good. It's wonderful. This, this is so much more than doing this with a normal scissor. It gives so much more femininity into the hairs. The softness of everything, and I think it's even uh, get near to the, f the skin feelings, the softness of the skin. So it's, it's more in line with everything. So now I can make her a pink color. To doom, to doom, to doom, to doom, to doom. Okay, made her a color of uh, kin. Made her ultra fine uh, pink color. And because this pink color, uh, is a color that has to develop, but it comes with very low peroxide, comes with 3% as 10 volume. So I bring this on the hairs from the underline up to the upper hair. No making any hard lines. And I show you a photo of the product into the video. Take the hairs up again. So go totally around. And this one here more soft the pink here. Mm -hmm. Making sure the lines are nice soft. Also on this line I take it a little bit up in the upper line so I can only the frame at the front. A little bit of the same color. This will let work in for about uh, 25 minutes. Then rinse it out, and then we're back for styling and the end result. Maybe she can turn so you can see how it looks. <laughs> Hello, back from coloring. Rinse it out after uh, a half hour. We were on the coffee and forgot the time. But it doesn't matter. There's always uh, product into the colors that stops the, pro the process. Now, color it blow dry your hair. Give her also a little bit again of the violet corretta. Take a little bit away from the warmth of her hair. This applies to the hairs. Make also small lines in the front to give it a little bit of frame. I'm going to blow dry the hair with a large brush, starting in the neckline. Do you have that with a round brush? No, well, a little bit. For me, it doesn't matter if you're round or flat. The problem is that you have to take your hair out. If you have a round brush, you have to take your hair out. You have to take your hair out of your head. And then you have to take your hair out. Ik zet gewoon daar een kracht op. En dan laat ik hem lopen in de kutje. Ja. Ik laat mijn haar altijd natuurlijk droog. Dat is ook het mooiste. Is dat ook oké, okay, ja? <laughs> en we kunnen altijd nog een keer in de zomer dat ik hier echt een vettere, echt harder erin zet. Dat kan altijd. Ja, leuk. Laat maar gewoon beter als je iets wil. Ja, zou ik doen. Zo so vaak blow drying. En dan. Uh, Klinkt goed hè? <laughs> ja. 
And I don't want to get a really stiff hairstyle, so I can take a ultra soft hairspray. Just to give it some volume. And I told her because she really does sometimes a lot of volume to use the dirty engine. Yeah. 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 Now I'll show you this hairstyle, make photos of it. Then I'm gonna show her a little bit dirty angel. <laughs> thank you for being my model, thank you for watching. We see each other next video. Bye bye. Oop. Yeah, man, want you to Okay. This is all over the school school, yeah. Je kinder weef je. Je komt hier mooi naar voren. Ja, het is een sterk ding, is dat dominant weefje. Dank je wel. Oké, we hebben besloten ook om te laten zien Dirty Angel hairstyle. Dus je ziet hoe veel volume Dirty Angel maakt. Het is een heel makkelijk product. En het is een product van attitude. Mag je nog een keer een rondje rijden? Thank you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Myrthe. Um, I already have sort of a bob, but I want a shorter one. And I want big pink on the uh, under... On the lines. Under lines, yes. And then I want some fades with my own hair color, because it's already blonde. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. <laughs> Will you turn so you can see how your hair is now? Yes. First time modeling. A lot of waves in the hair. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's start on you.